Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about Labyrinth. Labyrinth is a classic game that's been around for 25 years and has sold millions of copies. Its iOS counterpart, called The Amazing Labyrinth, has just been released and features a lot of the same features, but some that were not in the original game. So let's take a look. Labyrinth is played on a board that is constantly shifting, where paths will become open and closed, and players take the role of one of four different colors which have their own figurine. The goal of Labyrinth is to navigate through the maze in such a way that you will be able to reach your desired treasure. You will begin with a set of treasures and you will draw the first one to see what is you're trying to find. Then, on your turn, you will um, be able to move one of the rows of tiles that has a yellow arrow. The other ones are stationary and will not move. Players simply move the row and insert the remaining tile into the gap left by their movement. Players continue doing this uh, on each of their turns and then after they have moved the maze they then can move their pawn through the maze to a desired location. Once a player reaches the treasure they are seeking for, they reveal that card to the other players and then take the next one from their stack. The first player to find all of their treasures and then return to their starting location is the winner. Labyrinth is a classic game with some high quality components. It is a game that will appeal to both adults and children and can have different levels of play depending on your ability. There is a lot of luck in the game but it is also very fun. The Amazing Labyrinth on iOS takes cues from its predecessor and presents an app that is very appealing to children and families. However, the developers have also included a puzzle mode which is very challenging and a lot of the higher levels will appeal to strategy gamers such as ourselves. The main mode of single player play in Labyrinth is the puzzle mode. It is not a mode that was included in the original game, but it consists of a series of levels where players are trying to solve puzzles in a limited number of moves. These puzzles start out simple but become very challenging. This development in the app is very interesting to me and I believe is a great asset to the game. The multiplayer game would be somewhat strange against AI and you would think that they were always getting lucky if they were winning or that they were stupid if, you, if they were losing. However, this puzzle mode provides a lot of single player play and will last quite a while for even experienced players, and yet also provides something new. It really is a great idea on the part of the developers. The game also includes a single and multiplayer mode called Timed Duel. In this mode, players have a set time limit to try and create pa sliding paths that allow their character to get to the highlighted treasure. The character who completes the most treasures in the time allotted will be the winner and there's a high scoreboard kept locally and also online. It is a fun new mode to play the game and even though I'm not very good at it, I find it very interesting. Apart from the single player modes, the Amazing Labyrinth includes several multiplayer options. These include the time duel that I explained earlier and the original Labyrinth game. The Labyrinth mode plays a lot like the classic game. Players can play pass and play or online and when in pass and play, your treasure is shown to you and then hidden from the other players. This way you can allow everyone to see except when you're looking at what your treasure is. The system works fairly well and online there is a chat function that allows you to chat with the other players while the game is going on. The game moves fat rather quickly and this is a good option for players that like the game with their family but do not want to uh, set up the full version. The online features of the Amazing Labyrinth are run using Game Center. It is not using uh, the asynchronous abilities of iOS 5, but it is so far been easy to find a game. Uh, there is also a leaderboard that shows uh, your high scores in both the puzzle and the dual mode. This is great if for those that like to compete. The Amazing Labyrinth does not include a tutorial. The rules are pretty basic and you can access them via written rules. It would be nice to see a tutorial as this would be helpful in uh, learning the game quickly. There is also uh, settings where you can control the volume 
and other features. Players have the option to select their own player name as well as an avatar and change the color of that avatar. The avatars are similar to those found in the full version of the game. The Amazing Labyrinth is very well designed and captures the feeling of the classic board game. It is something that will be enjoyed by children and families. I also feel that the puzzle portion added to the game is a great asset as this is something common in the iOS space and users will be familiar with it and will be eager to figure out all the puzzles and gain the best score. I also think that some features could be added, such as asynchronous play in Game Center, as well as uh, additional puzzles and a tutorial. Overall, the app is a very quality product, and though it is intended for children and families, I believe that they have added a lot that will appeal to uh, more serious gamers. It is clear from looking at The Amazing Labyrinth that they have studied other apps and have tried to create an app that will appeal to the App Store market.